Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great day and super excited to hang out with you. Um, I know it'll take a few minutes to get everyone on board, but uh, started just a little bit early because I like to say hi to people that want to join early. And uh, <clears throat> we'll try and acknowledge everybody as they come in, but i um, super excited uh, to have you guys. Hey, Jonathan. Good to see you. Oh, Julia, good to see you as well. Liz, how are you? Leanna, good to see you. God bless you. It's great to have you this morning on a Monday morning. Um, hi, Eileen. So good to see you. It's a good morning. Have my coffee. Have my little pet buddy here. You can see her. That's Chloe. She hangs out with me wherever I go. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, Jonathan, it's great to see you, man. God bless you. A 1982 Dodger fan. God bless you. I'm sorry for your disappointment this year. Oh my goodness. Mary, God bless you. It's good to see you as well. A good sip of coffee. Super excited to start these 21 days of prayer and fasting. Hey Dave, God bless you. Good to see you. Hope you're having a great morning. <clears throat> Super excited to uh, connect with you guys and talk a little bit about prayer and fasting and get this uh, these 21 days started. Uh, as we focus on on prayer, I have a couple of scriptures I think will um, really challenge us, really give us a, an, a reason to uh, go after fasting and, and, and prayer. And I, I'm super excited about that. Hi, Byron. I hope you're doing well. Um, and for you guys that uh, are requesting to uh, be in, in the live video, just know that I'm not trying to uh, keep you out of it, but I... Um, Right now, um, the format that we want to try and use is simply to uh, <clears throat> to have uh, to to have a conversation via the the chat features of this instead of um, having a whole bunch of uh, interaction in in the live stream. So, um, just trying to trying to let you guys know what to expect there, um, but super. <sighs> Super good what God's gonna do. I uh, Just as I was praying and reading this morning and uh, looking over these passages of scripture that I think the Lord wants to, wants us to, to look over real quick and then pray, we're gonna certainly pray. Um, <clears throat> man, they're life-changing. They're shaping um, our hearts. I, like I said, hey, hey, Rebecca, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Um, they're life-changing simply because um, when we go after God, when we when we pursue Him, um, we're not just pursuing Him. We're pursuing this change in our lives. We're pursuing this amazing experience to have uh, our lives transformed. And then what happens is, once we're transformed, then uh, <laughs> everything changes all around us. Our, our whole culture, our whole influence that uh, we have changes. So, uh, Victoria, great to have you. Hey, Simon. Good to have you here too, man. God bless you. Uh, and so <clears throat> it's it's a life-changing experience. It's one of those things that, that shapes and molds our, our thinking and our way of life. And when we uh, when we get going, Miss Streets, good to have you here. Uh, thanks for joining us this morning. It's going to be a great day. I don't know if it's going to be as windy today as it was yesterday, but man, it was it was a breezy day yesterday. You guys have your coffee um, or juice or protein or whatever you start your day with. Um, let's get started. Uh, again, welcome to uh, 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting at Journey. And the reason we're doing 21 days of prayer and fasting at journey is we're believing for a miracle um 
on uh, November the 19th, we are in a an initiative at Journey called uh, the Achieve the Mission. Achieve the Mission is an effort to uh, ask the church to pray and ask God how they could give um, above and beyond uh, <clears throat> their tithe an amount of money that would be miraculous um, to help the church accelerate our our mission. We had a great Sunday yesterday. It was amazing to see growth and new faces and all these kinds of things. People asking to be baptized and just exciting moments. We had a child dedication yesterday for a wonderful family in our church. Hi, Maria. It's great to have you here. And so, so many good things that that are going on, and we just believe that God wants to accelerate ministry at Journey. <clears throat> With that said, we want God to speak. We want God to motivate our hearts, not emotions, not compulsion, and not regret or anything like that, but um, just a desire to see um, what God can do as he motivates us. So we're praying and asking God for these 21 days of prayer uh, to speak to us, to to connect with him. And we want something far bigger than ourselves. We want something far bigger than what we can imagine and see God do some uh, great things. So as a result, we're praying and fasting. And I, I read the scripture, and honestly, I haven't uh, ever focused on this passage in Isaiah chapter 58 verse six, and it says simply this about fasting. First of all, it talks about the, the, the uh, it, Isaiah's kind of chastising the Israelites for a poor fasting experience. And he, he gets on their case and says, hey, this is not a good way to fast. You guys are fighting, you guys are angry. They might've been hangry because they're giving up food, but whatever the reason is, it wasn't accomplishing the purpose that, um, that God intended. And so, Alfredo, it's good to see you, man. God bless you. Uh, great to have you here. And so Isaiah 58, 6 says this, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? In other words, I don't want this ugly version of fasting. I want this to be the effect of fasting in your life. It says, uh, is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them and <clears throat> and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here am I. If you do away with the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves in beha on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like noonday. The Lord will guide you, you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a, a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. This is the kind of fasting that God intends for us, that we would see and, and be changed, not that we would be selfishly fasting for our own benefit, but that we would be fasting and praying for the benefit of others. And that's how God responds. We're not responding to have our own needs met. We're not trying to do that. We're not trying to fast and pray so that um, we uh, get blessed. I think there's an outcome of that because of the nature of humility, of the nature of, of desiring the right things from God. But at the end of the day, what God wants are people who are willing to uh, fast and, and ask God to change our culture. It says, ch loose the chains of injustice, untie cords of the yoke, uh, <clears throat> set the oppressed free and break every yoke, share food with the hungry, provide shelter for the wanderer, clothe the naked, all these things. And then the, the light of God will shine bright. And that's the purpose and function of the church is to effect change in our culture. 
To achieve the mission, we have to be people who are expecting God to do far above what we could ever imagine or think. And if, as a result, if we, we must pray and we must fast, that's what this is all about. And, and God is, is encouraging the Israelites in Isaiah 58 to say, hey, you guys, don't get hangry. Get hopeful, get excited, fast for the right reasons, and I will hear your prayer, and I will say, here am I. And that's what we want God to say to us. And so super excited about that. Fasting can move the church toward its purpose. That's the whole value of what uh, fasting and prayer is all about. God is a mountain mover, not a vending machine. He he doesn't want us to just come and, and, and ask for ourselves. He wants us to uh, <clears throat> reach out for the sake of others. Fasting changes the faster, you and me, as well as the culture in which the faster lives or you you and I live. And so we're expecting to see great things. Hey, Linda and Monica, it's good to see you both. God bless you. And, and the benefactor of fasting is a changed culture, a changed world in which we live. And I think that's hugely important. The second reason that I think prayer and fasting is, is super important is found in Mark chapter nine. It's a story about Jesus um, and, and people bringing uh, a, a little boy uh, to Jesus to to the disciples, and uh, they said, <clears throat> "We when they came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them and the teachers of the law arguing with them. As soon as all the people saw Jesus, they were overwhelmed with wonder and ran to greet him. What are you arguing with them about? He asked. A man in the crowd answered, "Teacher, I brought you my son, who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech." Whenever it seizes him, it throws him to the ground. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive out the spirit, but they could not. You unbelieving generation, Jesus replied, how long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. So they brought him. When the spirit saw Jesus, it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion. He fell to the ground and rolled around, foaming at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, how long... Has he been like this? From childhood, he answered, it has often thrown him into the fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. Jesus said, if you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw that a crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You're deaf and mute, you deaf and mute spirit, he said. I command you come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, convulsed him violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet and he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, this kind can come out only by prayer and fasting. Not all versions of the Bible include fasting, but most uh, <clears throat> most versions that stay real close to the original uh, manuscripts say that fasting was included. And this, this verse only tells us that simply this, is that prayer and fasting, prayer especially, is the key to seeing something done that we can't do in ourselves. We're completely dependent on God. Jesus first challenges their faith and then their practice. He says, you unbelieving generation. And then he says, this can only happen through prayer and fasting. Our disciplines, our prayer and our fasting increase our faith and enable us to do things that we could never do in ourselves. And that's the whole point behind uh, Achieve the Mission. We wanna achieve something far greater than what we are capable in ourselves in doing. We wanna reach a community for Christ. We wanna do everything we can to, to touch the lives and hearts of people. Hey, Micah, it's good to have you. Taylor, thanks for joining us. And so we want to focus our prayers on asking God to build us up and to help us do the great things that he intends to do for the people around us and to see change, to see miracles, to see something greater than ourselves. And if we can do that, I believe God's going to do something way beyond our imagination. So prayer and fasting is essential. So I want to pray with you guys today. And I want to pray that we n not be like the, the Israelites in Isaiah saying um, it, that it's all about us and we start fighting and getting hangry and all that kind of stuff, but that we believe that um, 
the culture can change, that we set the, the, the oppressed free and that we feed the hungry, that we, we function as a church um, that makes a difference in our community and that we understand that the only way to do something bigger than ourselves, some, some things will never happen without prayer and fasting. And so let's pray. Let's ask God to, to bless our day. I, I, I will commit to keeping this as close to 15 minutes as possible. And I'm super excited that God is going to uh, take us in a direction and believe that uh, we can see things happen that are far greater than ourselves. And I believe that's going to happen. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for each person that's joined us on this live stream today. And I pray that the power of your Holy Spirit would just begin to motivate us to pray and fast. Lord, I pray that you uh, enable us to have a discipline these next 21 days and beyond to, to believe, to trust, to hear your voice, to put ourselves in your hands, let you lead and guide us, let you take control of everything every moment of our day would be consumed with the desire to follow you. I pray that you help us fast in a way that changes us, that Lord, so that not only would we be changed, but the culture in which we live would be changed because you've changed us. I pray that you help us not to be like uh, the, the Israelites who get hangry and frustrated and we fight, we infight, but Lord, that we would keep a unity together, that we would all be praying for the same cause and the same purpose. Help us to fast and pray so that we can see our community change, that, the, that you would break the, the chains of injustice, Lord, that you would set the oppressed free, that you would free, uh, feed, help us feed the hungry, that you would give shelter to the homeless, that you would bring healing to the sick, and you'd bring hope to the hopeless. Lord, that's our desire. That's our our desire to be a change agent in our world. Lord, we want to reach every human being possible in Ventura County. We want to touch the lives of those around this world. And we believe that you're calling all of us, all of us to pray and fast so that we can be in your will. We can accomplish things far greater than ourselves. Lord, as we pray and fast, can we believe that you are able to do the impossible, that you're able to do something that we cannot do. Lord, if if it's just simply touching the life and heart of our neighbors, our coworkers, our fellow students, our, 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 uh, neighborhood, I pray father in the name of Jesus, that you help us to make a difference. Lord, as, as the disciples were unable to, um, help this boy, I pray that you give us the the faith to help those around us. Lord, that that we would not be unable, that we would not be powerless, but that we would be full of faith, able to believe that you are able to bring change and hope to those that are around us. I pray, Father, that you help us to accomplish things far greater than, than who we are and what we are capable of in ourselves. I believe that you're calling your church to fast and pray today and that we will do that faithfully faithfully serving you, faithfully asking you, God, help us make a difference in our world. Give us your dream. Give us your vision. Give us faith to believe, Lord, that we cannot ever outgive you. We cannot ever um, uh, do things in our own power, but Lord, we can do things far greater than we could ever imagine in your power. I pray your blessing on every heart on this stream today. I thank you, Father, for the people that will see this video later. I pray your blessing on them. We give you thanks. Help us, God, as we pray and fast. We ask for you to move in our church, in our community, in our world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, that's the beginning of 21 Days of Prayer, and I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining. Uh, Carla, it's great to have you here. Lizzie, it's great to have you here. And I didn't get a chance to mention everybody, but I just want you to know I'm praying for you. I'm praying that this fasting, this praying will go well, and we will see God do some amazing things. I look forward to seeing you. I'm going to be here every morning for the next 21 days. So um, let's just get together every morning, talk about these things, and uh, I'm super excited. Have a great day, you guys. I love you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. Take care. Bye-bye.